Welcome back everyone. I'm Sam from Weekly Abductions. I'm gonna bring to you another ARC related video. This one's not gonna be a top 10 list this time. I'm gonna to talk to you about the Winter Wonderland event which started on the 14th. It's gonna be the last one of ARC 1's events because ARC 2 is coming out next year. So if you are familiar with these events, you kinda of know what all they do with it. For those who are not familiar, Basically in these events you can find objects on the map or collect objects from falling presents which are kind of like the drops of the game. But these presents are brought down to you by the raptor claws which happens at midnight every in-game time. And then also the gotcha claws which is a beast that you can tame and then feed and then or you don't have to tame, you can still feed it and it will drop you presents. So both of these ways are ways to get like decorations for your base or objects to craft um, various kind of collectibles and skins of the game. So there is a bunch of emotes that you can unlock by um, having enough mistletoe. You collect a bunch of mistletoe and then you put that in a campfire and then you can create emotes um, you can also create skins, so they have male and female versions of bathing suits, sweaters, and um, hats. Well, the hats are kind of universal, mainly the bathing suits and like sweaters are kind of separated between the two, depending on which ones you want. They all have different ingredients that you need to do it. Best way is to kind of look up which one you specifically want or see what you want. They added some new skins this year, other than the rest of them. There is new chibis, which chibis are like smaller versions of dinosaurs that you can level up to at least level six when you have it in the offhand slot. And it's something like a little creature that will follow you around. And it could be of some bosses, a bunch of stuff. They added a Fenrir run this year because of Ragnarok's release. Other than this, this event is actually going to go longer than it usually does. So they started it on the 14th, but they're going to end it on the 5th of January. So you have a lot longer time to envelop into this event and like really enjoy it because it will be the last one. You can spawn or admin command the events to take place if you really wanted to keep the events going. So if you don't get ARC 2 right away or wanted to still do it with your friends who doesn't want ARC 2, for whatever their reason may be, you can still spawn in events or have servers that can create those events during those specific times and then you can have the events go as long as you want them to. Another thing is, is they added some new colors to, on the map. So usually when these events happen, dinosaurs spawn on the map with n not normal colors. So they come in with like the bright red or like the lime greens. They have added lavender and some other ones. So you'll see like different color variant creatures that are spawned on the map. The best way to make these kind of spawn is to go around the map and kill them, except for like obviously the high or like the max level tames because you don't really want to do that. You could just tame those ones depending on what they are or ask anybody on your server if they want to tame them. But that is a good way to start for these event creatures to actually spawn on the map for you. Other than that, you could use admin commands, but I don't suggest that just because it can potentially break your game sometimes. If you use it too much, things start to not spawn along with overpopulating buildings on that server. All these events have been really good. Unfortunately, I started this series late because I could have talked about the Halloween event, which is one of my favorites. A Fear Evolved is what it's called. That one's really fun. but. I'm looking forward to ARC 2 and what kind of new endeavors that they have. Thanks for tuning in to this week's um, kind of ARC talk from Weekly Abductions. And we'll see you guys in the next episode. If you want to see more of Cools Paranormal, check the link up over here. If you want to see more from Weekly Abductions and some of my other ARC videos, check the link up over here. And if you enjoy our content, might as well give us a like and subscribe. They're free. You don't have to pay for any of it. And if you would like more notifications of our videos, just switch that notification bell from personalized to all if you want any updates on all of our upcoming videos.